Army Arties, welcome aboard. Taking a quick look around the shit here. Seems to be something missing. I think you'll agree. That's right. Bad kitty is gone. She got shoofed out of the building, but that's okay. She belongs in the water and leaves me lots more room. That's right. Dancing pirates, who to funk it, right? I know. Okay, well, we've been getting lots of stuff done. Well, <laughs> the other guy's been getting lots of stuff done. I've been pretty much holding down the fort and keeping my weather eye out on the uh, rums and flies. So I think I'll let the other guy take it from here, explain what's been going on. Here's the pile of teak that is sanded. Uh, ready to be cleaned and then remounted. So all this stuff is uh, pretty much done. You see the places where I've uh, built up the wood, where it was busted up before. That's all looking good. This piece here was the one that was really badly damaged. You can see the V-shaped filler. That was completely smashed out. And so I pocketed it back in place, fared it in. We're good to go. Oh, looks like it might need a little bit more fill right there. So we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that today. So these two pieces here, are the two pieces that still need to be repaired. There's there's a big divot there that needs to be glued down. And then there's that piece there. I'm not sure what to do with it. It looks like it's somebody made an attempt at repair. But I think I'm going to um, get in there with a tool and grind that out and then fill that. So I've got a few pieces to uh, sand these two guys right here on the edge. And I'm starting to work on the Bellspurt platform. You can see I've already epoxied up that massive crack there. And uh, it looks pretty good. It hasn't been sanded yet, but the repair looks good. And then I've got to deal with this crack down on this end. And uh, on this particular platform, I'm going to have to inlay because the wood split right out. So that's my plan with that. And the other one, this one here, I think I'm just going to repair it. I'm going to, yep. I'll uh, throw some epoxy on that, clamp it, and we should be good. There's a uh, historic split right there. Somebody else tried to repair. I might um, router that out and uh, put some epoxy into it. You can see somebody did it from the backside here, didn't do a very good job, but um, that should hold, but better safe than sorry, right? So I've got these pieces to sand, I've got these pieces, three pieces to fill, and the platforms to deal with. And we're pretty much ready to clean, penetrate epoxy, epoxy. Put back on, so making progress. So you are about to witness a noble experiment. <clears throat> what I'm doing here is creating a template for inlaying wood into the um, teak bellsprit platforms. So I have traced out a one inch by seven and three quarter inch pattern, and I'm going to routed out, at least that's the theory. Stay tuned. What I've done here is I've created a template. It's basically a rectangle. I've left the ends rounded uh, because I don't have a chisel set here and I'm not a really great woodworker. And I don't think that the rounded corners are gonna affect the ability for me to inlay uh, my new 
piece of teak on the old. And then I have clamped down the uh, template on top of the cap rail. Have a look. So you can see in there, there's the old damage piece and I'm going to router that out um, with my inlay kit. And then I will use the same template to create the inlay itself. So let's give it a shot, shall we?